Tim Frey and I'm on a mission to teach you the best tools, hacks, programs and information to take your training mindset and nutrition to the next level. And today, I want to talk to you about how to change your life in five minutes. So it's a super clickbaity title, I'm fully aware of that, and the whole reason is I want you to click on this video. Uh, I'm going to run through some topics and some points. Um, I'm not trying to be a guru, I'm not your fucking mindset coach, I'm not whatever you think I am or want you to be. I'm just here delivering some facts of what I've seen have worked in the last 10 years as being a coach and helping thousands of people. So I was doing a check-in with one of my clients. Uh, I do a shitload of check-ins with a lot of people. So I get to talk to a lot of people about their issues, problems, and what they need to overcome. And they ask me, um, how do I get myself out of this so-and-so situation? And it's pretty simple. The main thing you need to do is look within. Every problem has a solution and the solution is within. You really know what to do in every situation that arises. I've got a few more points that I'm gonna elaborate on next um, and hopefully they shed some light on you. So it's pretty common in the fitness industry to hear people saying, I'm not motivated. Well, no one is motivated when they first start doing something. Motivation comes from taking action. You need to take the positive steps forward uh, and that's how you build motivation. Motivation and momentum are pretty similar, although the same thing in fitness. You need to take the first steps in order to achieve the motivation. Second point is, you are the sum of the five people you spend most time with. I know you've probably read that in a thousand self-help development books, but really look in your circle and the people that you actually spend the most time with, family, uh, friends, are they positive influences? Are they bad influences? Do they build you up? Do they bring you down? Because that is what will be happening in your life in that moment, okay? And once again, this is not trying to sound like some self-help guru. This is the actual facts of what is happening in your life right now. Take a long, hard look at what is going on. Start a physical pursuit like the 75 Hard Challenge. 75 Hard is by Andy Frisella. Um, it incorporates five key things that you need to do. Two 45 minute workouts a day. One is outdoors, one can be indoors. Um, reading, uh, reading 10 pages of a self-development style book. Drinking four and a half liters of water. Sticking to a diet. And there's one other thing that I forgot there. What is it, Steph? Follow a diet. Oh, and a selfie. Yeah. And that you need to take a selfie. Next thing that I would encourage you to do is start a daily journaling practice. I know as a person, I get so caught up in my own shit and my own thoughts that sometimes when I get out on paper, it looks super fucking irrational. And I just remind myself that these thoughts I'm having are irrational. If you want some structure with your journaling, I like to go for three to five things I'm grateful for, three to five goals that I want to accomplish for the day, three to five I am statements about me, and then just whatever else thoughts I'm thinking. This can take a couple minutes in the morning and can really set you up. Uh, there are journals that you can use like Best Self Co or, or the I'm using a mindset journal at the moment. If you want more information on that, please reach out to me. And lastly, ask yourself the hard questions. What are you doing with your actions? Why are you doing them? Is this serving me? Are uh, three powerful questions that you can ask about anything in your life to give you a bit more direction and you need to trust your gut on what you're feeling and what the answers are to the questions that you're asking yourself. If you got something out of this video, guys, I'm not your guru. I'm just giving you some simple tactics that you can improve the quality of your life in five minutes. Uh, if you win the head game with yourself, you will win your life, okay? And there are plenty of people that have had a much more disadvantaged time than you. Whenever I'm in a tough spot, I always think about someone that has it way worse than me and they're doing way better than me because it is all in your head. If you guys like this video, drop a like, let me know in the comments. Um, it's been fun and we'll reach out and chat soon.